the face tanning mist in dark. I'm ready for a little haul. Little life book that I've just finished reading. Good morning. You and me have a lot to catch up on. It's not really ideal. Um chatting to you when I feel this kind of hungover but you know what that's my own fault it's Saturday so I'm not working and I just thought we should spend a Saturday together it's actually gonna be a nice day too because my friend Gabby who has Gab's Look the jewellery company is in London for a jewellery fair jewellery I should know this but essentially she's showcasing her jewellery um so I want to go down and pick up some jewellery and then we're gonna go for dinner later and I actually want to do a few other bits myself I'm loving my room it's a bit messy that is the laundry chair it's not even it's just the chair of clothes that i'm not sure whether turn you know everyone has a chair everyone has the chair the only thing is the walls are so bare and the walls are so high so it's so obvious that they're bare my lovely friend lisa got me this print when she was visiting which is just so cute it makes me so happy i love her but that's the first piece and i'd love to have like loads would that be so nice just walk in and it'd be just like Boom, shake the room. I'm actually looking at a puddle of Bear by Vogue products on the floor in my room. We got all of these products given to us in work. Like that's, that's what we're working with here, people. It's so cool. Also, do we like my new little light? Oh, well, you literally can't see because it is bright outside. I finished this book as well, so we need to talk about that later. But for now, we shall continue getting ready. This is a joke though, like actually a joke. I haven't been a fake tan girly for a while and you'll know that if you do follow here, but I do want to get better and no better way to start into it than to have every single product needed. Face tanning serum in dark. We have the self tan foam in ultra dark. A little bit brave of me to grab the ultra dark, but I think if you're going to be putting on fake tan, you might as well just go all the way. Like why would I put on like a light layer? I'll just put on less of this more products and use it less like that was that stupid i don't know instant tan liquid body illuminator the face tanning mist in dark x, x, x. the self tan eraser which is actually good this is the reason i stopped fake tanning was because it just gets so patchy on me and i was like what is the point i'm looking good for two days and looking terrible for a week oh yeah another thing <laughs> i want to pick up a pair of jimmy fairly sunglasses in work, we were all given a voucher to get free sunglasses. Sorry? Free Jimmy Fairy sunglasses. Bye. So I want to pick up my pair today, if I can. I have been thinking about maybe paying extra to like make them prescription sunglasses because I am blind and I feel like that would be a good idea, but we'll see. Okay, so kind of going casual today. My white t-shirt from Koss, my Nike shoes, my baggy baggy car hurts. I think I'll just wear my little varsity jacket. Guys, those grey hairs. Do you know what is so annoying? I literally dyed these two weeks ago. So you're telling me I get regrowth like that in two weeks. I did Google and they said you shouldn't dye your hair more than once a month. So what am I supposed to do? Tell me what am I supposed to do? It's really hard being wise so young. Really going for the clean girl aesthetic these days.
I literally comatosed on the bed there watching TikToks, but we're back. And I'm ready for a little haul. Well, there's actually nothing in this to be honest. Okay, so went to Jimmy Fairley, picked out my glasses. Oh no, sorry, first. Gab's luck. Mm, I'm so happy. They're such cute packages. I haven't had this packaging before. Love it. Oh, and Gab asked me to design a new packaging. So if you don't know, um, I designed packaging for Gab's look when she first started making orders and stuff. And I can insert a picture here of the designs somewhere. But Gab needed like a smaller design. So we last minute have this little cute one. Isn't that sweet? And the square is kind of nice. And the little jewelry drawings. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm so excited. I might actually wear my new necklace tonight. So, but first thing, <laughs> so cute. I've literally taken off all my other rings just to give it its own moment. How stunning. You can knock someone out with it. A necklace. I love this. I think it's just so different. A silver pendant, you could say. And like this string. I love that. It's so different for me. I really like it. And then I got my sunglasses. Do you want to see? Stephanie, come on, you need to get ready for your dinner. Okay, and then sunglasses. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get out. I think they're really fun. Do you agree? No, I like them. The circular is a bit different for me, but I like the pink and green. I think it's cute. Mm. I was going to chat to you about this little life book that I've just finished reading, but I think we're going to have to save that chat for later this evening because I just got a text from the restaurant that I'm going to tonight with Gabby and Stephen. Um, that I need to be there in 30 minutes. Sorry, where did the time go? I spent way too much time on my phone when I came in. So I need to do a quick turnaround here. I, I need to be there in 30 minutes. I think it's like literally 30 minutes away. Oh my God. Quick turnaround. We are going full silver. With silver pants, silver earrings. Okay, let's rock and roll. Time for dinner. Sometimes my mind is away. I drift in the space. As promised, we have a review. <sighs> Prepare ourselves. I've mentioned this before, but when I popped this book onto my story, I got a lot of warning messages that the book was very triggering, traumatic, depressing. Those are the kind of words being thrown around. So was I intrigued? Yes. Was I scared? Yes. Do I agree with those comments? Probably yes. I think if you do want to read this, definitely like look up the trigger warnings and stuff because it is pretty intense. It is such a long book, first of all. Look at the size of it, literally 720 pages. So it is lengthy. Obviously you're getting to know the characters very well. So I actually do feel like this is my child. I feel such an emotional connection to the characters that I actually reckon I'll be thinking about them for the next few years. And a few people have said that. They were like, sometimes you're just going out throughout your day and you just think of Jude St. Francis, who is the main character in the book. Long story short, it is a great book. It has some really intense scenes. There's intense childhood trauma and just kind of like self-harm, we're going to say. Um, I obviously don't want to spoil anything. It was a fantastic book. Fantastic. Shook me to my core. Made me feel extremely emotive. Depressing, but beautiful. You know, I would rate it like 9 out of 10, to be honest. 9 out of 10. 4.7 out of 5, I'm gonna say. Just because the fact that it is quite dark, quite sad. And something that's been said to me is the fact that this, there's a play going on in London at the moment on this story. It was going until maybe end of June and it's so popular that they have extended it till end of July or something like that. So there's maybe literally only three weeks left to watch this play in person so obviously i'm so obsessed with the book i'm like okay i should definitely go see this as a play there's some really amazing actors in the play as well so like it's a given but then think about it think about it with me really intense scenes do i want to be sitting there in person seeing that 
I can't decide. I'm a little bit on the fence. I have asked somebody in work their opinion on whether I should go or not. She has seen the play and she said that someone in the audience fainted while they're watching the play. So unsure what to do here, guys. Like, is this a once in a lifetime situation where it's a book you're obsessed with? Should you see it in person or would it scar me and I'd need therapy for the next five years? All that to say, great book. Would recommend, but would also check out those trigger warnings before I before you purchase. I just I just don't want you to be upset with me. But that is everything this week, guys. Make sure to subscribe and join the little lovely community we have here. And we'll chat soon.